know what it is. Bitch, I know it's cranky. Oh my god. It says fragile. It says what? Fragile. It could be Bitch, anything. you kept lying to me and you knew you had it. Ah, uh, you ain't no... Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Sean, you're such a good liar. You could have even record none of that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm starting on my Valentine's Day looks. Um, my best friend bought me this magnificent specimen we have here. This is um, the Crayon Cases Box of Crayons Eyeshadow Palette. And that's what it looks like on the outside. That's what it looks like on the inside. Very colorful, very diverse. You could do, um, and it has a mirror. This mirror is a legit mirror. Like, this mirror is heavy as hell. Um, yeah. Um, to be honest, um, the, the palette surpassed my expectations. Um, I had heard bad stuff about it, good stuff about it. So I was very, very happy to have it. Even though I told him I didn't want it and he went ahead and got it anyway. Um, the mattes are like silky in texture. Um, they are, right. but the shimmers though, but the shimmers, it comes through on the shimmers and, um, excuse me, there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's ten mattes and eight shimmers so the shimmers are these right here these three these four and this one at the top and um yeah i'm happy with it and um my sister got me these let's flamingo um, this Let's Flamingo brush set from Tarte. Um, this came with five brushes. And um, I used two in the tutorial today. These would be like something I would put. Here's the other two. Oh, dropped my sponge. These would be like something that I would put in my vanity. Just for looks. Because, um for one they big and clunky as hell and I feel like this let me not do that this versus this this got a lot going on it's not heavy but this is what I normally use let me take, see if I got it in here I don't have it but the brush that I normally use to contour is similar to this almost in shape because it has that rounded shape at the top but it's just, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And they're very, very pretty brushes. But then I feel like when I clean them, water might get down in the bottom. It's plastic, so it might crack. I don't know. It's it's a lot. But, um, like this. What? I guess I will highlight with this. I don't know. It's just, it's soft. They soft. They soft brushes. They quality brushes. Like, Tarte didn't sleep on them. It's just the plastic part it's a lot it's a whole lot but they're pretty to look at um so yeah i um used both of those today in the tutorial the tutorial is a one friend a one palette friendly tutorial i only use the um box of crayons today um yeah and i wanted to give you guys something colorful for valentine's day give you different valentine's day looks hopefully you guys can um actually use these looks um i don't know if y'all gonna be booed up for valentine's day or not 
but whether you are or not you can still look good and maybe you'll find a boo on valentine's day who knows i don't know so um yeah i did this pink uh is it colorful shimmer cut crease i don't want to keep calling these looks the same thing because they're not the same look like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell to be notified every time i make a video follow me on social media shyly1990 on twitter and snapchat shyly1990 makeup on facebook and instagram and yeah just thank you guys for coming on here and watching the video if you made it this far into this long intro and you want to see how i created this look then stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so here I'm taking my e.l.f. lip scrub and I'm rubbing it all over my lips after I lick my lips. And this is the e.l.f. lip scrub in natural. Y'all excuse Derek, he wanted to be seen. And I'm taking my AOA Studio um, lip scrub and watermelon. And I'm rubbing that all over my lips. And then I'm taking my AOA Studio Oh Honey nourishing lip oil and i'm rubbing that all over my lips and just showing you guys how soft my lips look now that i've layered them with products and um next we're gonna do the eyes i'm taking my tarte shape tape concealer and tan sand and i'm using that to prep my eyes hi derek yeah don't mind me i'm just recording a video it's nothing it's just going on youtube just my YouTube channel, it's no big deal. So I'm gonna take my finger and blend out that um, concealer. I got some in my eyelash, so we're getting that out. And this is the lovely masterpiece of the day. This is my box of crayons palette. Ooh. And as always, I didn't know which direction I was going in. I know I wanted it to be Valentine's Day, but as far as like colors and what I was going to do, I had no idea. So I'm taking my fluffy blending brush from Morphe. And um, I believe it's a Morphe. Boy, I don't even remember the number. I'm going to have to put the number of the Morphe brush in the description box, but it's a fluffy blending brush. Any brush will do. Any blending brush will do. And um, I'm just taking pink and putting that above my transition. That's going to be my transition shade. I'm sorry. Okay, I went ahead and did the other eye off camera, and then I'm taking red and tapping off that excess and going slightly below where I put down that pink just now with that same Morphe brush with that same blending brush and you guys see I had to change I love that mirror I love that mirror but I had to go to um, my smaller mirror because I couldn't handle it I guess the size got the best of me <laughs> Okay, now we're taking, I know what this one is. This is my Morphe M507 brush. And um, this is just a smaller, more preci precise brush. And I'm picking up Deep Plum from the Crayon Case Box of Crayons Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette. I love the shadows in the palette. You guys heard me ranting and raving about it in the intro. But um, yeah, I'm really happy that I got this as a gift. So shout out to my best friend, Sean. Sean, if you're nasty. Anyway, um, I'm just placing that deep plum in my crease, blending that up, blending that out. Sorry, you guys. So there's no harsh lines. And I'm sorry about this part where I put, and that's what the blend looks like. I'm sorry about that part where I put the um, palette directly in front of my eyes and you guys couldn't see what was going on. But here I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on the back of my hand and I'm picking that up with this really super flat brush that I always use to cut my crease with. Um, and yeah, take your time, cut your crease. Make sure you're cutting your crease high enough because lately 
I've been thinking that I'm cutting my crease and it looks bomb and I'm getting transferred because I'm not cutting the crease high enough. So definitely make sure that you're going high enough with that crease. Not too high, but high enough, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't think I went high enough in this video, but practice makes perfect, y'all. Cut crease is one of those things that you have to take your time on and you have to be patient with and you'll get it. You'll you'll get it. I've gotten so much better since I first started doing cut creases. And I tell you guys that practice makes perfect. So I'm taking my time and I'm cutting and I'm making sure I drag it down. And um I blend out the edges with my finger. And then without picking up any additional product, or did I? I picked up more product. Pick up a little bit more product. Um, put deep plum on the outside to blend out the edges. I was having a brain fart. Sorry, you guys. So I took my Morphe M421 brush, and I know this brush as well. And I just dipped it in some water and then patted off the excess water. And I picked up magenta. And I put that on the inner portion of my lid. Am I going to put that all over the lid? I think I'm putting it all over the lid, you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put it all over the lid. Showing you guys what it's supposed to look like. Ow. So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. I added liner and lashes. Just because the video is already really long and you guys have already seen me do liner and lashes in enough of my videos. Um, and I'm taking my LA Girl Orange Corrector and putting that on my 5 o'clock shadow, on my dark spots. And I'm taking a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge. And this is an e.l.f. beauty sponge because it has a flat side. That's how I remember which one it is. And I'm just buffing it out. Any beauty sponge, whatever you guys are comfortable with. I'm taking my Pond's Dry Skin Cream, and I'm using that to moisturize, and my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I'm using that because I have huge pores, and um, it really acts as a blurring agent. Before I lay down that primer, no, before I lay down my foundation, loud or wrong, Now I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix in NC47 and I'm putting a few pumps on the back of my hand and dotting it down. I don't know what I was doing right here. I was trying to be spotty and do something that I'd seen on Instagram. I don't know. But yeah, I was like, girl, what you doing? This is what happens when you stay on Instagram and you get on the Explore page and then you start doing too much. Because that was too much just now. We could have been done with that. But anyway, you blend it out with a damp beauty blender, damp makeup sponge, whatever you want to call it. Down the bridge of my nose, all over my cheeks. Um, then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I'm highlighting 
under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin. And I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and NC45 and going right over anywhere I just put down this Tarte Shape Tape. And you guys, I don't know if um, I like this combo together. It might be a tad bit too bright for me. Because I feel like once I did all this, I was like very not the color I'm supposed to be. So I don't know if I'll be making a habit out of um, doing this two concealer thing all the time because I felt like I was very bright a little bit too bright see I was checking and I was like girl what you doing I mean I felt a little bit better once I did the contour but it's still like meh down the bridge of my nose under my other under eye. Hey there, don't mind me. Still recording that video. Oh no, you can be on camera too, because you're part of the makeup tutorial. I don't know, I like it, but I don't like it. Like, it looks really bright on camera. I don't know you guys comment down below in the comment section and let me know what you think about my under eye concealer so I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color espresso and I'm just doing some quick contouring the hollows of my cheeks around my nose around my forehead and I'm taking this contour brush I got from my shop Miss A Hall and I'm just using that to brush out this contour. I didn't have that confidence I normally have when I do my little toots, you know? So I'm going into this with this bigger brush and I just got this out of a set for Forever 21. And just going around the perimeter with that contour, blending it. Yes, honey, blend it. No harsh lines. We don't want to see the separation between the highlight and the contour. Go around my jawline one good time and then I'm gonna go into that with that damn beauty blender and just buff buff it out. We smooth it with the brush and then we buff it with the makeup sponge. That looks so much better already. Trust the process, you know? Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. Tap a tap a tap a a little bit into the lid. And then um, I just press that into the under eye highlight. Um, I don't bake. I got into makeup after the days of baking were long and gone. Some people still bake. It's not my thing. I just like to slightly press it into the... Um, highlight so it doesn't crease but no baking I'm just like literally like setting it like melting it into the highlight so it sets like instantly there's no like I don't want to get no flashback I don't know I just I'm setting I mean yeah baking's not my thing sorry so I'm going into these brushes my sister got me from Tarte from the Let's Flamingo set. 
and I'm gonna try to use those to contour. I'm going into my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm picking up Tan and Hollow. And this looks really harsh, you guys, just looking at it on camera. Um, it's a bit much. So I went over it with the beauty sponge just to like buff out any excess because it looked very harsh. And then I'm going over that contour I had on my forehead. And then I'm um, going up the bridge of my nose with that small brush that I used to contour my nose. Just going over it with the beauty sponge. Then I'm going into my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And this is in the color Milk. And I'm going into my Morphe Shader Brush. And I'm going back into that Crayon Case Palette and I'm picking up. I want to say I picked up the color pink. And I'm putting that right in my waterline. Yeah, I picked up pink. And then I picked up um, red and went directly below that pink. Yeah, but I know now, Charlie. Thanks for telling me the first time. And I'm taking that deep plum color and putting that on the outer portion of my under eye and then I'm putting two coats of my worth the height mascara on my lower lashes and another cameo from Derek marvelous And then I'm taking this very tiny, teeny, tiny brush and I'm gonna pick up the white color. And it's like a reflective white and I'm putting that on my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. blush palette and this is in the color dark. This, the palette is actually dark and I'm gonna give these brushes another try. And I'm picking up that pinky color just cause it's Valentine's Day you guys. It's Valentine's Day inspired. Where's the love with the pinks and the reds? And brush that ever so slightly over the apples of my cheeks without overdoing it. And then I'm going into my MAC Global Glow and I'm picking that up with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush. And tapping off the excess and putting it on the highest points of my cheeks. A little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. Then I'm taking my finger and putting some down the bridge of my nose, the button on my nose. Blending that out. I'm taking my MAC Melon Pigment and tapping off the excess, putting it wherever I put that global glow, the highest points of my cheeks, the bridge on my nose, the button on my nose, and my Cupid's bow. Yes, Cupid's bow!
make sure you blend out that highlight don't just like leave highlights sitting without blending it out everything should look seamlessly see it's coming together now now that i've put other stuff on my face it's looking good so i'm taking this ruby kisses dark brown lip liner any dark brown lip liner will do you guys you guys don't have to follow everything to a t just get inspiration from the looks that i do it doesn't have to be all the same products any dark brown lip liner do it could be from elf it could be from nyx it could be from the beauty supply store any dark brown lip liner so i put that on, outline my lips with that and then i blend it out by rubbing my lips together see here i feel like i look light like really light you guys comment down below let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see if you want to see more looks like this this is my nyx matte um lipstick and shy so i just put a little bit of that on then i put on my nyx butter gloss and fortune cookie and i love this combo together it just looks like this the dark brown lip liner with the shy with the fortune cookie with the clear lip gloss on top is just it looks so bomb it looks so different it's a different kind of nude it looks so good to me and this is i tried something different today i put um this is my diamond lip gloss and glitz from shop miss a this is aoa studio diamond lip gloss and glitz and i just dotted that on hello hello lippies and i'm sitting with my maybelline master fix and uh yeah that's the end of the look you guys uh wait i forgot my brow bone highlight so i'm just going into that global glow and that's gonna be my brow bone highlight and just Brush that on and then blend it out with your finger. And that's the end of the look, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. More videos to come. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm.